Jay German, the head coach for the Hanover Rhinos, and Joe Page, who's an assistant coach for the Hanover Rhinos. Um, Jay, uh, how have your first couple of practices here in these tryouts gone uh, being a head coach? What has that experience uh, been like since being named the head guy here? It's been going pretty well. We have a pretty good core group of guys that have shown up. Uh, they're here trying to do their best to get better, and we're trying to get ready for the, uh, the season upcoming uh, in 2021. Mm -hmm. Joe, um, you were the previous uh, head coach. Um, what's your role going to be like um, this year for the uh, team? This year here, we're going to still maintain the defensive coordinating position uh, and also assistant head coach with Jay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, you're going to um, have a hand in the offense at all, or is that going to be completely Jay? Uh, that's my not my forte. Um, mm -hmm. That's something that uh, Jay definitely has under control. So mm -hmm. I don't want to step on his toes with that one. Mm -hmm. Jay, you uh, talked about uh, this offense, and Joe talked about this offense being a big thing for you. Um, what uh, what do you see so far um, after tryouts from this unit? Uh, what, what do you what are your hopes and uh, dreams for this unit so, uh, this so, year? So far, we we got some pretty good speed and depth, uh, especially on our wide receiver and our slot positions. Um, that's this is a very fast paced offense, so guys are going to get tired. Uh, we need depth there, and it looks like this year we had some pretty good turnout on some new talent. Plus, uh, some of our returning talent is here uh, that knows the offense pretty well from last year and the preparation we did for last year. So, I think we got a team that it's going to put some points on the board, and uh, people are going to have a, a hard time keeping up with us. Mm -hmm. Joe, you guys did a lot of uh, defensive work today. What are your What are your thoughts on uh, how things went as far as that was concerned? Uh, really impressed with some of the new guys that came out actually. Uh, kind of outshining our, our veterans, I guess you could say. But the nice part is the veterans came in, uh, you know, definitely got the work in that they needed to, uh, kind of rekindle the, the, the spirit of, of what we left off with in 2020 that we weren't able to complete. So it's kind of been one of those things is uh, it, it feels good to get back out on the field. Mm -hmm. um, for for either of you guys, whoever wants to answer, um, the, the plan seems to be that we're, we're preparing for the Santa Bowl here this year. Any thought that that might not um, – take place because of the uh, COVID-19 concerns or anything like that or is that full steam ahead and we're definitely planning on uh, having the Santa Bowl this fall for the Hanover Rhinos? Well, so right now we're trying to we're planning for it uh, we're going to go forward with every uh, effort we're following all the guidelines that are required for us to follow within the state of Pennsylvania um, we're preparing as if it was going to happen uh, let others decide whether it's going to happen or not that's outside of our our uh, forte we're just going to keep uh, coaching and get this team ready uh, for Santa Bowl and beyond. How uh, how good is it to finally be back out here, um, be, you know, really making a concerted effort towards getting going towards the season here um, after not being able to play last year? I mean, this is this is really happening right now. Has that kind of set in for you guys yet? I, I, th I think we were disappointed last year. I think Joe and I both had a team that was ready to go. Um, we had made so many adjustments, and we had a great group of guys that were ready to play and hungry to play. Unfortunately, for you know, situation was outside their control. We couldn't play, so we feel like there's some uh, something incomplete here. So getting back out here now, as we get into the fall and get ready to go, I think uh, it feels a little bit, a little bit more like it should. Um, it, it, we we're going to get back, and I think we have uh, we have goals in our mind, and uh, so do the players to uh, get out there on the field and show them what all the hard work they've done. Uh, it shows to other people. All right, so I'm here with Hanover Rhinos quarterback Cooper Hastings here after uh, day two of Hanover Rhinos tryouts. Um, has it really kind of set in yet that the season's back and that the Rhinos are back for the uh, 2021 season here? Oh, I'm excited to be back. I know everybody out here is excited to be back. We just want to play football. That's all. Mm -hmm. How strange was it to uh, kind of sit out that year um, this season due to um, COVID and not really have a have a season or be playing any games? Uh, it's really strange not having football a year because I know. Even for like the fall seasons, there's no football and all that. You can't even go anywhere to watch it, so it's kind of really strange. Mm -hmm. So you guys are uh, optimistic and um, and um, preparing for the Santa Bowl here. What, what do you think the odds are that um, we uh, we get to play here uh, at the beginning of December? I kind of like the odds because they say our numbers are going down with the COVID cases and all that, but I really like the odds of us starting in December. It's going to be a good game. Talked to uh, Devin Hall, uh, one of your receivers, who's back this year. Said you guys have some unfinished business as far as uh, the season's concerned. What does that mean to you? Uh, to get back with Devin, it's really going to be helpful a lot to me because he was one of my main receivers the past year and really helped me out a lot in the position. And having guys like uh, Tyler Goralski, uh, who you got good chemistry with, back here, what does it mean to have a guy like uh, Tyler around? Uh, we're always out there. I'm 
Deshaun Duncan. Uh, I'm out here with the Hanover Rhinos. My first tryout. Um, great team, great act, uh, atmosphere. Um, really fun. Uh, I like the fact that everyone seems pretty intense about it and, and, and deaf about it. Everyone seems to care about each other. Um, I grew up in New York area. Uh, went to Votech, played a little bit of played a little middle linebacker there. Played a little bit of tight end for him as well. Um, I am a I am a William Penn graduate, um, and I'm looking forward to being a Rhino this year. Mm -hmm. How did you hear about the Hanover Rhinos? Uh, I heard about them a couple years a couple years back. Uh, had some friends that played, and my brother also played a while ago. Um, and now I'm here to be part of the family. And your brother was uh, your guy, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So did you actually get to see him play for the Rhinos? I did not. Did not. Heard a lot of good okay. things about him though out here. So. Yep. We had to take a take a shine. <laughs> um, what what's your football playing experience as far as a semi pro goes these last couple of years? Um, these last couple of years I haven't played any football. I've only been flag. Um, I'm just looking to get back into shape and back into mm -hmm. the swing of football. So, have you played semi pro before? I haven't. Okay. It'll be my first year. Yeah. And what positions do you play? I play middle linebacker. I also play tight end. Okay. All right, and your thoughts about being out here um, for tryouts for the first time um, with this new team here? Great experience. Uh, you know, great guys. Um, everyone seems to care about each other, and it seems like we'll have a really good season. With uh, Devin Hall, wide receiver for the Hanover Rhinos at uh, Hanover Rhinos tryouts today, what, what, what was behind your decision to uh, come back to the team this year? Um, well, I set out for about a year, and um, just got that itch for real, you know, watching everybody post their highlights and stuff, so... I'm a football guy at heart, so it's like I couldn't stay away for too long. And me and old boy Coop here got a uh, got unfinished business. So hopefully, we can bring the championship back this year. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, as far as that unfinished business, how do you plan to accomplish that this season? Um, well, we got new coaching. Um, they like to throw the ball, so we all for it. That was, um, last time I was here, that was a big stable. We had a big receiving core. We uh, had a nice young quarterback. Um, so I'm just looking to build off that. Oh, you know, we can put up some points, man, get some fans out there. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the tryouts go, um, you know, how do you think this is as far as the uh, start of the season here for you guys? I mean, the season's here. Is that kind of set in that, that, you know, this means the season's here and uh, we're ready now? Pretty much, pretty yeah. much. Um, I mean, it still looks like we still got a lot of work to do for real, but from, from what I see, it's like moving in the right direction. I feel a lot more optimistic than I did last time I was out here, so I'm seeing a lot of athleticism that I didn't see before, so I think we actually going to do pretty good this year.